Good day to you, my trading friends. It is Friday, January 29th, 2021, and your cherry bomb is in for the day. We're looking at a long call vertical in the queues, which if you get the email from Tasty Trade, which we will talk about in just a moment on how you get the emails from Tasty Trade that we get, um, then you'll see that cues have dropped some. So in just a moment, we're gonna hop on into Thinkorswim where we do our simulated trading. But I just wanna finish the overview here of this trade. So it's long call vertical and cues has an IV rank of 30 right now and a liquidity rank of four out of four with a strong positive correlation to the SPY. So if you need some positive deltas in your portfolio, which I don't, so more on that in a bit, um, then this might be a trade for your consideration. So without further ado, let's hop on in to Think or Swim. And allow me to introduce myself. My name is Neil, and this is Option Theory. I'm so glad that you joined us. What we do here is we build out a portfolio using simulated trading and emails, trade ideas that we get from Tasty Trade with the occasional viewer suggested trade, right? So we do those on Mondays if possible. So if you want to get in, feel free to leave a comment or head on over to optiontheory.com forward slash contact and you can send me an email with your trade idea or what you'd like to see on the channel. So one last thing before we get going is down in the description, you'll find a link it's a bit.ly link. It'll take you over to Tasty Trades MailChimp signup page where you can pick from all, a variety of mailing lists that they have. None of them are spam and all of them are good stuff, but at least the cherry bomb is the one that you want to get trade ideas four days a week. All right, everybody, let's get cracking. On screen, you can see we have, I have a few orders set here to do some rolling and closing for my uh, undefined risk trades that are 21 days out following that Tasty Trade mechanic. But I want to talk briefly, I want to go over today's position, but I don't intend to put it on. And, and the reason is I already hinted at it. I already have enough positive deltas. I'd like to neutralize those deltas, especially considering the fact that, um, yeah, so the futures, if there are any indication as to what Friday the 29th is going to look like, um, yeah. It's going to be a little another ouch day here because we've got the S&P down over 1% 1, 1 and uh, over 1.5% down in the NASDAQ futures. So right across the board, your major indices, the Dow's down almost 1% and Russell's down point, uh, 5 tenths of a percent. So yikes. Hmm. Guess everybody's paying attention to Wall Street now thanks to Reddit, right? Cool. Anyway, pay attention. That's a good thing. It's it's a it's a <laughs> sometimes it's a dumpster fire and we get to watch. All right. Moving right along. So let's head on over to the charts here. Let's take a look at the cues. We can see it's up near its highs and we're coming down off of that. This must have been an iron condor that I had on there uh, at one point <laughs> that didn't that didn't work. <laughs> or maybe it did. Maybe this hopefully was probably not. This is probably what just marched right through it is what I think. All right, so that we can see we're coming down off of that. And uh, the let's go to the analyze, add simulated trade. We're at the 321 uh, is what it says here, but I think it's actually more in the 318, 319. Yeah, 317 now, according to uh, Tastyworks. All right, so let's take a look at how this trade was supposed to set up. It was supposed to set up with, in the March monthlies, we're going to find it. There we go. You were supposed to be able to buy the 320 and sell the 322. Uh, that's no longer going to be the trade that I think anyone would suggest uh, when you're doing a long call vertical. In this case, it would probably be something like a 315 buy and a 316 sell at $1.29. Let's head on over to the risk profile, set ourselves to... Uh, and I'm going a little fast today, sorry, because, you know, this was probably not the trade you're going to want to do at this point. But hey, you never know. That is some expected move right there, huh? Let's dial that in. Okay, there we are. We've got our expiration set. Let's get our slices set to break even. So this trade here gives us less than 50-50, even though we're paying more than 50%. I don't like that. Not a big fan of that one. So maybe the volatility has popped up enough that if you wanted to be bullish, you could do yourself a short put spread. Let's head down to, oh, let's go 30 delta here. 
Let's sell this one and buy this one and see what kind of credit we get. Do we get 65 cents? We sure don't. All right, so what kind of deltas do we have to go to to get that? Let's try 33, so 303 and 301. Let's see, do we get that? <laughs> Not even close. Okay. Just a little, did I go too wide on that one? I sure did, hang on. Yeah, no, I don't like the way the short put spreads are, are shaping up either. Just like the email said about not the, the premium isn't there. Uh, it doesn't work out great in long call land either. So it's up to you if you want to place a trade in queues right now. Um, I'm not, as you know why, because I don't need any more. I guess I could be bearish, right? <laughs> what would a long put spread cost me right now? So if I bought the 318 and so oh, hang on. Yeah, a little much going on there. Bought the 318 and sold the 316. Put 75 cents. What are my probabilities on that one? Looking good. <laughs> so uh, I suppose I could do this one. You know, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to put this one in my IRA account. Can I do that? Sure can. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in my IRA account. Just see what happens. I'm risking 75 cents to make a dollar 25, and I need some. You know what? No, I'm going to put that in my margin account because I need some bearish deltas. All right, everybody. I'm going to right-click that trade and go to confirm and send. Review that which we already said of the max profit of a dollar 25 and 75 uh, is what we could make. I just could lose because that's what we're going to pay for. It's a debit spread. I'm going to go ahead, head and hit send, and that's going to put that in my working orders. And yeah. So last night I did a quick video as a uh, follow-up video. I gotten a comment on resetting your paper money accounts and what happens to the positions so it's only it's less than two minutes if you want to check that out hopefully i'll have a card up there for you soon and uh you can go ahead and click on that otherwise you, you know we have hundreds of videos now i have lost count i should go look on tube buddy or whatever it is so all right if you've made it this far into the video, here's your thumbs up. I, I appreciate you. I almost said I love you. We don't really know each other that well, but you know, I, I love that you are here with me. <laughs> All right. So until I see you in next week's, hopefully viewer suggested trades, so leave me a comment. All right. Uh, happy trading, everyone.